What's going on everybody? My name is Lil Wooly and let's go ahead and talk about why the content on here hasn't been necessarily like it used to be. Um, most of you guys probably know that usually I talk about the news or I talk about uh, political topics or just have like, you know, conversations where we can have a back and forth. And this hasn't been happening as much. In fact, content on the channel hasn't been happening as much. Um, a lot of that has to do with laziness. Um, don't get me wrong, there is a bit more times than not where I get a little bit lazy and don't make a video. But there are times where I try to make a video and you know, I just can't get the video right. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that whenever I talk about the issues that I want to talk about, I just get angry. And it's not like I try to get angry. It's just the people's reactions to, say, the politics in the United States have angered me to a point where I just can't talk about them. I get upset when I talk about them. And it's getting more and more to a point where the talking about politics at all is just an invitation for, you know, either harassment or it's an invitation to... You know, just getting shit thrown at you, and I really don't want to deal with that. And it's gone to a point where I'm really looking for some sort of reform in the United States political climate. And I'm not talking about, you know, replacing the government as a whole. I'm talking about the attitude towards politics. I mean, you're seeing um, people on the extremes of the uh, political spectrum just going at each other constantly, nonstop. You have the really far outright, you know, white nationalist, you know, people like Richard Spencer going up against the Antifas. Um, and both of these sides, I can't agree with either of these extremes. Richard Spencer being pretty much a neo Nazi white supremacist, in my opinion. I just can't agree with him on anything he says because it all comes from that white supremacist perspective. Meanwhile, the Antifas, I can't understand because they claim to be anti-fascist, but they use fascist techniques to, like, move forward with their movement. And it just, it boggles my mind that they do that. And then you start getting closer to the center, and you get, you know, your Republicans and your Democrats, and both of those parties have gone to the wayside in the United States. It's, oh, these guys are just so bad when it comes to the politics and come to the political scene. I wish we had taken the advice of the Founding Fathers and gone, you know, we should not have a two-party system. We need to get, like, three or four or five parties. And then you move closer, and then you got, like, the moderate conservatives and the moderate liberals, and, you know, we have our opinions, but, you know, we're able to talk to each other at the very least and maybe come to some middle ground. And then you got the centrists, which I try to be, and it's... You know, for the centrist, it's just a confusing mess to try to figure out anything and to try to even come up with an opinion on certain topics. And, you know, just having that sort of having that sort of dynamic in the country when it comes to politics, um, it's caused a lot of hostility, even between friends, between family members. And it's got to a point where a lot of people don't sit down and have conversations anymore. If politics gets brought up, it's uh, stand up and have a fucking yelling match for a good 10 minutes and then leave angry and, you know, with one less friend or um, one less uh, nice relationship within the family. It's It's gone to a point in this political climate that my buddy AJ, who you guys might know from Test Talk, which we need to bring that back. I got to talk to him about how the heck we're going to do it. But it's gone to a point where he only talks to me about political issues now. He can't stand talking with politics with his friends. Now, that could be because we have very similar viewpoints and we both kind of lean conservative. But he understands that I try to be centrist and I try to play both sides. And I think he also understands that I try to have conversations and I try to, you know, not let it be, oh, if you look at it this way, it's us versus them. You know, I don't look at it that way. I look at, you know, we got to come together at some point. We have to find some common ground. And it's... It's gotten to the point where he's not willing to talk with anybody about politics unless he knows, like, they're going to be able to talk and, you know, be able to have a conversation and not a yelling match, which is why he comes and talks to me. And I've gotten pretty much to the same point as well. Like, I have a former co-worker. You know, she's liberal. But, you know, I can 
have a conversation with her, I think. It's been a while, but I can have a political conversation with her. I've been able to do that in the past. I just hope I can able, be able to do that now since Trump's got elected because I know she's gone um, a little bit hardcore liberal as well. But I hope she's still able to have some form of conversation. But anyway, guys, I want to know your guys' opinion. Does there need to be some sort of reformance, some sort of reformation of the American political climate? Do we, do we need to get back to the middle here? Because it's gone to a point where the extremes are all the talk. And it's the moderates that, at the end, vote. I, I don't know like how to describe it, but when it comes to talk, it's super heavy on the extremes, not so much in the middle, but most people are, are in the middle. And I just want to know your guys' opinions about it. Let me know in the comments section below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, go follow me on Twitch. I just became a part of the Twitch affiliate program. So if you guys want to come down there and support me, um, that's what I've been doing mostly is streaming. Um, follow me on Twitter as well. That's when you know like what, when I do stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name's Lil Wooly, and I'm out. Peace.